But the fact is today we have manufacturing concerns uh, that extend across the country. We have uh, environmental issues that certainly air pollution crosses state lines. Uh, we even have agricultural markets that far extend beyond state lines. Uh, even Justice Kennedy, uh, who tends to be pro-federalism, has said that we need to in interpret the Commerce Clause as if there is a national market, because there really is one. So is it really practical to go back to the days of 1787 when there are far fewer impacts among the states in economic matters? Well, I think th th that my banking analogy is the perfect answer. Uh, let's take environmental issues. I, I, I really could see um, regional compacts uh, in New England over environmental issues. But I don't think the Southwest the United States would want to be under the exact same rules as Rhode Island and New York and Connecticut and so on. And so, sure, things cross state lines, but very few things in the environmental world go from Colorado to Maine. Um, and I, I think that there's a room for that. And the states have proven that when you give them the liberty to make their own policies and give them the ability to work together as cooperative states, it can get done. And I see no reason uh, that that wouldn't be done. We, we've proved, proven that we can do it on the whole Uniform Commercial Code, which is not just banking, but business transactions and so on. Uh, the interstate comp compact system can work really quite well to solve those things. And, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I've got snow in my house, in my house back in Washington, D.C. area right now. I think that they really should declare that they've had victory against global warming and stop it because I'm tired of snow in late <laughs> March. So uh, uh, I think everybody needs to go out and buy, uh, get rid of their Prius and buy a Suburban right away. You need to warm this economy up. Mark? You know, I actually spent a lot of time in the area of interstate compacts, and a couple of years ago I was working on the health care compact to take authority uh, away from the federal government, give it to the states over the area of health care by these interstate agreements. We've done them hundreds of times in the history of this country. Right here, the Colorado River is governed by an interstate compact, so the states have shown themselves more than capable. And in the case where the states can't reach agreement, we have a system of federal litigation where they can fight it out in federal court if they need to, specifically, for example, on environmental issues. So I feel like we already have the constitutional mechanism in the interstate uh, compact world and the litigation mechanism in the federal courts if they can't resolve their differences.